Kerala is situated 300 miles south of Goa on the southwest coast of India. Voted by National Geographic as one of 10 paradises found, Kerala is one of the fastest growing tourist destinations in the world. Trumpeting elephants, martial arts performances, and temple dances thunder into the night. Fishing is a way of life on the coast. And rivers, canals and lagoons make up the famous backwaters. Inland, the Western Ghats, clothed with tea, coffee and cardamom plantations, rise to over 5,000 feet and rice paddies line the valley floors. In just one visit, you will see for yourself why Kerala has become known as God's own country. Many holidays start in the vibrant port town of Cochin with its famous 15th century Chinese fishing nets. This is the St. Francis Church. It is considered as the first European church in India, built in 1503. A sunset cruise or a visit to a Katakali dance performance is an enjoyable excursion. of meandering waterways, canals, streams and estuaries form the now famous backwaters. Life along the banks is a colourful highlight of any visit to Kerala. One of the best ways to enjoy the stunning scenery of the backwaters is to experience an overnight cruise on a luxurious houseboat. Fantastic, eh? Traditionally the chief mode of transport on the waterways, many rice boats have been converted or newly built with well-appointed bedrooms and ensuite bathrooms. So bear's port. Bear's bear's port. Bear's port. Yeah, from the lake. Good morning. 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 Some of the most picturesque scenery in Kerala is found in the highlands. Sprawling tea estates, rolling hills, sparkling waterfalls and lakes characterize the region. Muna in the Western Ghats still displays some of the charm of a former colonial hill station. Just you tell the name, you can make the name immediately. 
En route to Muna, a visit to the Kodanad Elephant Orphanage is a must. Periyar, on Kerala's eastern boundary, is famous for its wildlife park. Travelers can take part in a guided jungle trek in a tiger reserve or enjoy elephant rides in a spice plantation. A visit to a spice plantation reveals the secrets of growing valuable crops like coffee or cardamom. Coffee Arabic. So we can get for the real flavor of coffee is after yes. roasting. And the life of cardamom is 15 to 20 years. The actual plant? Yeah. yeah. And one plant we can get it near one kilo. After dried, it's one kilo goes down to 200 or 300 grams. I like cardamom. Oh, lovely. Mm. The 5,000-year-old ancient medical science of Ayurveda originated in Kerala. Today, one can experience the healing touch of Ayurveda in centers across Kerala or in most of the resorts collaborating with Kerala Travel Center. In northern Kerala, the province of Wayanad has mist-clad hills, lush green paddy fields, sprawling coffee plantations, and subtropical rainforests. This flower is just like a powder puff. Telicheri, on the coast, overlooks the Arabian Sea. Fine silk or cotton weaving is a local industry at the cooperative north of the city. Early in the morning, the vegetable and fish market is well worth a visit. It's called a rib goat. It is like your ribs. Yes. Internationally renowned Kerala cookery lessons are also available locally. Calicut has a traditional boatyard where wooden dows are built by hand and exported to the Middle East. A demonstration of martial arts in a village setting is an unforgettable experience. Calicut is probably better known today for the hustle and bustle of Sweetmeat Street with more than 500 small shops and a colourful street market. Kerala Travel Centre offers its clients a choice of carefully chosen places to stay. Hotels and resorts that have at least six rooms and a restaurant. Larger hotels may offer a good range of facilities and services. Boutique hotels with historical buildings and furnishings providing an intimate and usually distinctive environment. Homestays that are usually converted ancestral homes, offering an opportunity to mingle with local families in comfort 
and privacy. <laughs>